Good evening everyone. Welcome to Try It Out Tuesday. Thank you for joining me. See, clear paint one through and everything. It's obviously a very special day. Um, <laughs> I'm back. I'm going to put that back. I've got nowhere else to put it. The desk is full. Um, and thank you for joining me this evening. Tonight we're going to be doing some card making. I felt like we hadn't done that for a while. So that's what we're going to do. Um, so sit back, relax and enjoy. Um, you can also join in, obviously, if you'd like to. Um, if you have these stamps available. I am trying to make sure that I put on which stamps I'm using or whatever during the day. So if you if you want to craft along with me, you absolutely can. Um, I am going to be using, the plan is to be using the journaling, Art Stamps Journaling Essentials number two, the Doodle Art Dancing Daisy and Ticker Tape one. Why? Because I love them. And that's a good enough reason. So thank you very much for joining me. If you do know anyone that likes to join in Try Out Tuesdays, please tag them because obviously we know Facebook doesn't always let them know. Um, and give give me a give me emoji or a hi yo when you get here. Okay. Hello, Alison. Hello, Sally. Hello, Sam. Yo yo yo. Um, so I thought what we might do tonight, if it's all right with you is we we i the collective um talk a lot about using mop-up sheets and we go oh yeah you can save that and use that later now i have done a try out tuesday before ages ago um using the mop-up sheet to do an art journal page but what i wanted to do this evening is maybe use one to do hello pauline um to do uh, some card making um because I think even if you are primarily an art journaler, you make you like me, you just like making hundred tags for no reason whatsoever, things like that. Um, there is sort of still that expectation that you are going to make at least some cards um, for for the people around you. Um, so that's what we're going to do, okay? Because my thought is, even if the card making isn't your primary paper craft, oh hello, sorry, um, it's going to be you are going to make some. All right. So let's do that, I think. Hello, Lynn. Hello, Lynn. For people watching back, there are two Lynns. Um, Shazar. Right. Let's get started. The cornerstone of any British person about to take action. Right. Right, so these are the three stamps. Sam will do you links for all of those. So it's the, like I say, journaling essentials too. Do like lot dancing daisy antics tape one. I'm trying to get these lives started quicker and I'm obviously already not doing very well at that because we're three minutes in. What I have got here is a piece of watercolour paper um, that I used as a mop-up sheet at some point, you can see. Moppy mop mop. Um, and I've obviously cut out a tag from it at some point. But what I want to do... Hello, Margaret. Congratulations for being here for the beginning. Well done. Um, it's basically, I'm going to add some more to this mop-up, okay? And then sort of make it how we want it. But the good thing about this is it gives you a really nice leaping off point. Okay? And shows you that you can just sort of start anywhere. So we've got our mop. So what we're going to do from here is we're going to need some colours, aren't we? So let's go for, I think we need some wilted violet. Let's go with some prize ribbon and some fossilised amber. Yeah, I think I think those those two are going to do quite nicely. Two, there's definitely three. I can count. All right. So what we're going to do is we're going to add some smushiness to that straight away. Okay, so we're going to take these three, and we're going to put them on here. Now what I might do is add some more of these base colours on, and I'm using oxides specifically here, so that they'll sit on top of whatever else is there. Alright, but what I might do, is although I'm adding some fossilised amber here now anyway, I might um, add some more fossilised amber on as well. I'm just really, I'm, see, I'm just trying to absorb all of that right into the, 
cardstock here. Okay, and as you can see, this is watercolor cardstock, so it's very absorbent, so you don't get a lot of the traveling. So I'll tell you what we're going to do. We're going to do. We're going to separate it out and do three the three colors separately now. Right. So that's. I'm going to get really, really wet. So I'm, see, I'm just trying to absorb all of that right into the cardstock here. Okay. And as you can see, this is watercolor cardstock, so it's very absorbent, so you don't get a lot of the traveling. So I'll tell you what we're going to do. We're going to do. We're going to separate it out and do three the three colors separately now. Right. So that's. I'm going to get really, really wet. Really oxidize that up. Okay. Oh yeah. Okay. Fantastic. And I know you're thinking, how's she going to work around that big harsh line? We will worry about that when we get to it. Okay. And now I'm going to go for, do you know what? Some fossilised amber. I'm really going to get some of that on there. Again, oxidise it up lovely. Oh yes. See, see oxidising on top of that purple really giving us some really nice texture there lovely and we'll just go to the edges scrape up what's left could you just say could you do this with two colors rather than three colors absolutely that's what i should have done shouldn't i that's what i should have done sally super ninja sally did you all see? Sally won medals. Four medals. We have an award winning ninja on the Be Crafty Creative team. <laughs> yeah. Right. So I've got this exceedingly wet, obviously, with all that water. So now I'm just going to give it a waft with the old heat tool to get it back dry again. Okay. So if you haven't been here before or you just haven't seen me use this before okay this is my brown non-stick craft sheet which i have stuck to a wooden board and i use it to do all of my heating on okay it protects my blending mat if it's underneath it protects my board that i'm working on if you're working on a big pad or something like that it stops it burning um it's just a really good heat protector pad and I just prefer to use it. You can also do some brilliant like embossing techniques directly on it. So okay, and I'm just going to dry that a little bit from the back because you can see it really has come through the fibres there as well. So whilst we're waiting for this to dry, talking of Super Ninja Sally, seamless link. Um, Sally is doing a workshop, a Facebook workshop, on the 30th of September. That is only a week on Saturday, you know. And, sorry, my thing keeps tilting. Um, and you can join in. You can book your place on the website and she will add you to the Facebook group. And then you're there. And the Facebook group will stay live pretty much forever. So you can go back and re-watch it or... You know, if you're thinking, well, I'd, I'd like to, but oh, I'm not available Saturday morning. That's all right. You can go back in Saturday night and watch it then. It just won't be live then. That's all. Okay. As per usual, I have grown impatient and that will do. All right. So the card I am going on to is a five by seven, just blank white card. Okay. And I'm going to cut that into a four and a half by six and a half i think okay so it's basically just deciding which bit you want now i've decided i'm actually going to use this line so i'm actually going to keep it so therefore i'm going to do a four and a half that's actually still quite wet you know a four and a half a strip down there so that goes back into the fodder box for later and then right 
So that's not a six and a half. So if we go, I know you're not used to me measuring things, are you? I'm just going to go roughly. See, you thought, oh, she's measuring stuff, and then I'm instantly back to where well, roughly. Right, to six and a half. There. Well, that's not too bad at all. Okay, so we're instantly seeing our layer. See that? It's going to be rather splendiferous on there, isn't it? I absolutely love it. Marvellous. Right, so we're also using not just scraps. Like I said, we're using our stamps. So we're going to be using the journaling essentials and the dancing daisy and things so i think what we'll do first is we're going to take our journaling essentials and add some texture on there okay just with these using the colors that we've used for the background i use these a lot in black because i think they're very uh they're really sort of like black and that's because I can't think of a good ad adjective. They're really, whew, but you know what I mean. So I'm going to go on, first of all, with some fossilised amber. Now, this leaf here is quite bold. So I'm hoping that will give enough of the fossilised amber to sit on top. I might be asking a little bit much on that dark purple, but it's okay. I'm going to do it regardless. So we get a nice little leafiness going down that purple block. And then, do you know what, we will add a few more. I am just going to ghost those a little as well. So you can see as they're drying, they're becoming more and more fill on that panel. So this is also really good because it looks like you're adding in lots of paper layers. But you're not because it's nice and flat still. Okay. So we're going to swap that one for this beautiful sort of loopy loopy one. Now I have been asked about doing these slightly bigger. We have got some other journaling essential stamps coming before that, but I definitely will. Like the, these leaves, but bigger. Um, so it's on the to-do list. I promise. But, you know, like everything, it can't necessarily always be done exactly when we want. And no, I don't like it either. But here we are. But as well, you could do all of this stamping. Sorry, just going back a step. You could do all of this stamping and add things on on your big sheet and then cut it up in different sizes. I actually wanted to this evening do a series of little 4 by 4 cards. Can't find them. Because that's what I was going to do. You want inkables with these shapes on, Sal? Oh, one is a demanding little ninja. But she's award winning. What can I do? I have to do what she says. Um, <clears throat> okay, so you want inkables like that. Right, okay. Oh, Alison's joining in. It's a creative team. What's the word? I don't know. I don't know, but I'm going to do what they say. Because they're awesome, the creative team. Speaking of the creative team, have you checked out the blog recently? You should. It's awesome. Our creative team are on it and they're brilliant. Okay, speaking of inkables, shall we add some inkable texture to this? I'm thinking maybe some tags. Let's grab some tags. What are we thinking? What are we thinking? What are we thinking? What are we thinking? Ooh, that one. Oh, maybe that one too. Okay. I'm 
sorry, I'm a bit all over the place tonight and I don't know why I prepped and everything. So I have two Inkables tags here. I have got this one from set five and I have this one from set four. You can see the selection of these is very precise. I'm very meticulous. Or, as you saw me do it, you can see I just go bing, 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 that one. Okay. You have become obsessed with Dinkable Set 12. That's because it's immense. This is me actually, you know, stepping away from it for the first time in a while. It could also be that it's still in the draining rack from where I used it earlier. Okay, so I'm going to go over here. I'm going to work up that line slightly. And then I'm going to spritz or mist with my mini mister. Not that one though, because it's empty of water. Don't worry. Did a little mini mister refill session. I'm going to put that one on just to pick up some of that excess. This watercolour paper behaves very bizarrely. And then on to this one. Now I'm thinking I might go in with a bit of green. Now I know we haven't used green, but I'm not going to re-ink in green. I'm going to grab one of my green blending brushes. just sort of with whatever might be present on it just create a bit of a fan effect you can actually see that really beautifully there wonderful now like i say so you could work on this on your complete sheet of mop up if you wanted to and then chop it up later it actually gives you a much more random effect which can be quite nice all right so moving on moving on to the dancing daisy okay so the dancing daisy is uh not our most recent doodle art because that's the rainbow birds but it was the one before that and on this one you have the two daisies you have one in a little little size in, in inverted <laughs> okay ready to go and you've got some other bits here you've got some words and some borders and tra la 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 so because i know you're not spending your tuesday evening with me to watch me cut out i have cut one out all right so i'm going to get some well i actually cut three out see it actually really was my plan to do three cards all right <clears throat> so i'm going to go back to my blending mat so i'm trying to be a good girl and only have one dirty at a time let's see how long that lasts Okay, and I'm keeping this here just to I'm gonna put some wilted violet there and then some It actually I have to say fussy cutting I've decided I'm no longer gonna call it fussy cutting, I'm gonna call it intricate cutting. And even no in fairness that's rubbish as well, because I am not a patient woman as we know, okay? But I did all this, well I've done that, all those ones, in the last hour or so. There's five of each, of those little ones. And I've even gone in between all the leaves. So it can be done. If, well, let's put it this way, if it can be done by someone as impatient as me, you're, you're golden. Right, so I'm going to go in with some fossilised amber. Now I really like using fossilised amber with purples and pink. So it can be done. If, well, let's put it this way, if it can be done by someone as impatient as me, you're, you're golden. Right, so I'm gonna go in with some fossilised amber. Now I really like using fossilised amber with purples and pinks because it actually has a really sort of pinky undertone. Um, so it's a really good yellow to use for that. Okay, now obviously using our oxides, we're gonna be having a really sort of 
matte effect so if you wanted to you could add if you wanted a sort of a shinier effect you could use you could add some sort of perfect pearls or some sort of mica um some of the pretty gets gritty sort of sparkly explosion powders something like that to your color and that way the colors would still match but you would get that sort of iridescence to it I'm obviously not saying you have to i'm just saying if you wanted to okay As you can see, I'm very, very careful when I'm colouring in. Or not. But that's okay. When I cut out, I leave a white line. I do not stress out if I paint over it. Obviously, if you wanted to, you could colour in with the pens. Things like that. You could be more accurate if that's your thing. Um, yeah, you could go over it with glossy accents. Absolutely, Sam. You could add in highlights. With other enamels. You could go over it with your Tim Holtz embossing pen and then just chuck some clear embossing powder over it, you know. Oh yes. I may be thinking I should have just done boss lies down but so it stood out better. Right now I'm gonna use my fossilized amber with my purple to make sort of like a brownie colour. With the middle okay and then we're gonna go and grab some green but i don't want a vivid green i want like a bundled sage green because i think that's gonna go with the green we've added in there but i'm gonna mix a bit of fossilized amber with it that in Put that into there. okay so this was stamped with um first fine claire this afternoon so if you were stamping it fresh if you want a better description I would heat set it and maybe even heat set it with some clear embossing powder. Okay. So let's just put that on there for a second. Well, that's not bad at all, is it? No, it is not. Right, so we're going to lift. This mat out of the way because that's got more mop up written all over it. <clears throat> Okie dokie, I'll tell you what I am going to do. I'm going to get my heat mat out again because I can't lie to you, this still isn't very dry. And I'm going to give everything a bit of a waft with my heat tool just to dry everything down. Yes, you could add some of your distress lasers too, and I think, for example, your. You could use your distress glaze maybe through a big one to add a, a, some really beautiful gla glimmer on there. Um, but I, I, I do actually want to keep it quite matte. Um, I'll do another one at some point with some more distress glaze. Do that a bit of a bit of a wafty waft okay right now as you saw earlier i did have some of these cut out ready and i am wondering if we should maybe add some of these i think they might be a bit much too much actually I think they're a bit much too much answers on a postcard if you disagree all right so what we're gonna do right, so we'll lift that back out of the way i think what i'm gonna do first actually is i'm gonna distress the edges of this 
and we're going to stick it onto our card and then we can have a play around with layout of different things so i'm going to get my big scissors and i'm going to go along which is now going to be hopefully much easier now it's dry and we're just going to rough up the edges of this if you're doing this please be careful do not chop your hand off i accept no liability i'm not telling you to do it to get that corner okay I haven't gone too aggressive with it I just wanted a little bit of texture all right so I think we'll go for some foam pads okay just to give it a little bit of dimension because we have kept obviously the background really flat So I'm going to get it to sort of stand proud in a different way and that's by using the foam pads. here I'm just going to line it up onto our card that's really cool that's cool I like it all right and then we're going to go on with our daisy. We're going to put some foam pads on that as well. Actually, I put them away. Shouldn't have done that. All right, so I'm going to put one right in the middle of the daisy head here. And then I'm going to cut one in half. for each of the leaves okay I'm really sorry <coughs> sorry um, and then we're just going to we're gonna go I didn't peel the one off here. <laughs> I was distracted by my sneezing. It's not good, is it? So that petal just almost hangs over the edge, but just like a tiny little bit. Just enough to let you know that it's not part of this. It is separate. Okay. Now, like I was saying, on your doodle art dancing daisy okay um you have words you've got little extra bits as well now what i also did when i was cutting it is i cut some of these circles out which have just got some semic writing in there's nothing that background probably would be great as is as is laden but you know me more is more more is more not less is more more is more that's why it's called more there you go 
I'm thinking what I might do. Oh, so you can't do two because that's just weird. Do them. So they're slightly going off that side. I'm just waiting to see what I think whilst I'm looking at it when it comes up on my phone. Or is that a bit much as well? I don't know. Right, I'm going to move that to the side while I think of which sentiment we're going to be using from the wordage. Um, I'm thinking... I'm thinking... That we get rid of those and because that way we can use a bigger sentiment and we go for the live every moment love every day laugh beyond words that's what i think and i've got an idea with regards to the circles but we'll come back to that I'm going to get some cards. Wash my stamps. Okay. We're going to get this. We're going to stamp. Onto some white card here. Okay. We're going to waft with our heat tool. We're going to grab our big scissors. And we're going to cut these up okay so the whole point of the ticker tapes when i first did them with ticker tape one was that you could leave them together or you could chop them up now this one obviously you can also chop into strips or chop completely individually i am actually going to chop completely individually okay which actually doesn't take long so don't go anywhere And I have to say, these these words here are brilliant, just like the live, love, laugh and stuff. They're great for going on like ATCs and things like that. Because they're just the right size. Now, if you are a renegade, a rebel without a cause, like Sam and Sally okay they don't just chop the images they chop the stamps so for example sally's you may have seen today i did a reel with using the doodle art sunflower hang on just let me grab it it's over here using this okay i know for a fact sally's sunflower has lost its head she cut it off they are stamp chopper uppers, Sally and Samantha, which, by the way, is absolutely fine. And I encourage you to do it. I'm just not brave enough. <laughs> okay. So what do we want to do? We want to... Live every moment... Gonna sort of stage them as well. Laugh every day. Love beyond words. Now we thought the other circles were too much. Well, I thought they were too big to sort of take on. But 
on your journal essentials you also have circles now i didn't get around to cutting out the ones i stamped today but i think i have got a couple in this box already so i could quickly because you've got five so i could quickly get another one I'm not even going to use my little scissors, I'm going to use the big ones. So what about those ones, because they're smaller, or do we still think they're too much? Is it just making it too white on this side? I can't decide. This one's doing my barnet in. Or, or, bear with me. I'm going to do something else. <laughs> So what do you think, Sam? Just take that off. And then do that. And this is exactly the sort of thing you should do with your cards and projects. You know, get the base and then mess around with it after. Alright, I'm just carrying on with my next option. You're pausing to say whether you like it now because you want to see what I'm going to do next. Or we get rid of all of it. We just do that. So... Do we want option one, which is all the live, laugh, love sentiment down here. Option two, with the live, laugh, love in the circles here. Or option three, this one. Sarah Lou, I'm not mature enough to put one word between two circles. Hmm. -mm. And the threes have it. Okay, there's only one more thing I'm going to do, my lovely option threes. Okay. Is, I think the problem is as well, this doesn't have an edge. And obviously these have a line and this has a line around it. Okay. So what I'm going <laughs> to, what I'm going to do, right, is I'm going to do,
I'm going to have to start talking because I can't talk and write things down at the same time. Oh dear, I can't. Just soften that up slightly. Okay. And then because foam pads seem to be the adhesive of choice this evening, we'll put a foam pad behind that. And then we'll put that one there. There you go. I am. You like option seven. Thank you for that, Sam. Oh, dearie me. So thank you very much for joining me. I do. I'm just going to carry on now. Um, I do hope that shows you one way of using your mop up. Like I say, you can do all the additional inkable work and the additional stamping work while you've still got the sheet big and then you can cut it down afterwards. Um, but for me, because I knew I wanted that strong line, I wanted to make sure that I was working around that when I put the templates in. Um, but if you're just looking at making backing papers, go for it while it's still big and then cut it down okay um we don't have sally this week she's off gallivanting celebrating her win um but i will be live in crafting together with all brands on thursday um we do have some other reels and stuff coming up for you showing other products if there's anything you would like to see please let us know the make sure you've got your entries in on the challenge okay you could win a stamps voucher why would you not want to do that the october atc swap is now up for joining in the be crafty stamps group okay and like i say get yourself booked on to that workshop of sally's for the 30th of september and also make sure you subscribe to the youtube channel all right then guys thank you so much have a fantastic day day rest of your evening but it might be day if you're catching up on youtube later bye bye